Hey gang, today I'm going to teach you how to play jump. As a guitar player, if someone asks you to play something on the piano, you got to know something. This is the easy one. Let's go. If you're going to play it on the piano, that's one thing, but let me show you in Logic how to make this sound really quickly. There's a lot of good plugin emulations. I like this one here, uh, OB Extreme. There's a lot. The default patch on that's pretty close, but um, in Logic, call up ES2. Go to Bright Saw Brass. You're looking for an analog synth brass. That's that sound. Uh, throw on the stock chorus. Throw on Silver Verb. And uh, this is what you get. In case you don't know, just to the left of the two black keys is middle C. So we've got a C chord. That's the one. You've got your four chord, one, two, three, four, the F. Do it like that, block chords, C, F, and G. That's what you're working with. So if you have an F chord, and you could take this C and put it at the bottom, and you could work inversions around. That's basically what Eddie's doing. Another thing to note, which is really easy to visualize on the piano, let's take a look at the C chord, right? And now, one, three, five. That's the triad, and if you want to jump to the seven, you could add the seven there. Now let's remove this C, because I'm playing it down here. And you've added, you've made a major seventh, but it looks like an E minor over a C, right? And then if you want to add the nine to the C chord, then you just tr keep moving stuff up and remove those fingers and you have C at the seventh, at the ninth, and we're jumping there. And you're just adding extensions to the C chord, but it's sort of slash chords, which is like a G major over C. Super easy to visualize and it's really a cool way as a guitar player to see these uh, sort of same concepts that Eddie would do in triads on the guitar on the keyboards. The opening, you start with holding down low octaves of C, C, and C. Sounds awesome on any instrument. And you're gonna jump between this G chord, this C inversion, and the F. That's the bulk of the tune, right? The only real tricky part is the turnaround. See, it starts with this F to the C, and then you lower that E to the D. And the bass notes follow along like this. That's that. Once the song kicks in, you're just pulsing the bass. So I do my thumb. So you can easily see that your pinky's on the F and your ring finger's on the G. And you don't have to move out of position. Then if anyone asks you how to play the solo, you say confidently, yeah, of course, and you walk away. Just walk away. 